Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. You know, today is a special day. Uh, I have my boy with us. I want to get, before I say his name, I'm just going to tell you right now, he's part of the Bass Pro Tour Angler with Major League Fishing, Pro Bass Tour. He's the Bass Master Classic Champion in, in 2014. Oh my gosh, imagine that. It's been that long. Don't say anything though yet. He is uh, raised one point over. $1.2 million for King's Home, and he has his boat giveaway that's coming up. 45 top 10s. His sponsors include Daiwa, Livingston Lures, Triton Mercury, Camping World, Bass Pro Shops. I got all these off your website, by the way. Cabela's, Lawrence, Powerpole, Dale Benton, TH Marine. Oh, my gosh, there's so more, so many. Lunker Lure, TTI Blakemore, Daiichi, the greatest hooks on the face of the earth, by the way. And more. You can go to his Facebook page, Randy Howell, at Randy Howell Fishing, or you can find him on Twitter at the Randy Howell, or check out his YouTube channel. I couldn't be happier to have my good buddy on. Here he is, Randy Howell. How are you, dude? I'm great, man. How are you doing today? I am awesome, man. It's been. It seems like it's been forever since I've seen you. Man, I, I know that uh, not having iCast this year in person, we missed having dinner together. So it was kind of uh, kind of sad, wasn't it? <laughs> it? It really was. How has how well? First, let me ask the normal questions. I, I, how are Robin, Laker, and Oakley? They're doing good. They're all doing good. They're just uh, staying, trying to stay uh, straight here and organized. We're doing school, uh, virtual school. Lakers doing college virtually right now. Oh. I'm doing school virtually, so it's really a complicated mess for uh, for robin especially just trying to manage all that <clears throat> while we're doing this and fishing you know show doing shows and doing stuff like that while we're uh, all here at home trying to deal with all the craziness in the world so it's all going good though everyone's yeah, doing, doing yeah we're doing you know thomas is growing like a weed which really stinks but i mean that is what it is uh what about covid i mean how is how has covid changed everything for y'all i mean are you well, Thankfully, we, we've stayed clear of it. Uh, it is popping up a little bit more close to home here around some of our areas, some of our schools and uh, teachers and things like that. And they've kind of gone back virtual after they were going in person the last uh, month. So it's still always a little little scary not knowing what, you know, how, how it all works and why some people get it and some don't and why mm -hmm. some are worse than others. And so it's definitely something we don't want to deal with. And I definitely pray or prayers go out to anybody that's had to deal with it. So we're hopefully we're going to stay clear of that. And we got the King's Home event coming up. So we're working hard on the fishing event <clears throat> right now, trying to get all the high school fishing teams around the state rounded up and uh, invited to come out to help us that day. So all the kids from King's Home will have a good, fun fishing experience. And we got great weather forecasted that far out all the way to the 14th right now. It's showing <clears throat> weather 70 degrees. So uh, if we just not have any rain, man, it'll be a great perfect yeah it sounds i mean you, you you've done this for how many years has this been that you've donated and had this boat giveaway for this uh, king's the, home this is the this is the 10th 10th year so this is the 10th anniversary for the boat giveaway that is just awesome that is just awesome uh, i i had, had go ahead oh i said we've had the fishing event this is the 12th year for the kids fishing event, but the 10th year for the boat giveaway. So it's been going for a long time now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. that's just amazing uh, what you do, especially the amount of money you've raised for King's home. Is that where you go to, uh, do you go there? Is, is it a church that you go there to, too? No, no, it's uh it's just like a big, uh, one part where the offices are, it's a big girls ranch where the, there's a big lake there, about a 15 acre pond and a okay. lot of the girls home. For the, the group homes that are uh, on campus there on that property. Then there's boys' ranches, a couple more of them out and spread around different parts of the county out there in uh, central Alabama. So we, we go there and, you know, do stuff, speak with them, talk, you know, talk, do little group deals with them and all, and fish at the lake some with them and all that. Uh, but for the most part, you know, they have their life going on, you know, pretty, very structured and a very, uh, you know, secure place, gated, secured area, because most of these kids are coming from super bad abuse situations. You know, they've uh. been taken from bad families or bad foster care or just bad situations in general. So they're in a protected environment. Uh, and that's and that's another reason why we can't show their faces 
Uh, you know, I can't show video. Unfortunately, can't put video out anywhere of me fishing with them or showing them in, in their faces. And that's why we, you know, that's, that's what makes it difficult when we're trying to tell people about King's Home and who it is and what it is and how the money for the boat goes to help them. Uh, it would be great if we could put videos out showing the impact that, that it makes, but you can't do it because of the laws of the state like that. Yeah, that I, that's understandable, to be honest. Now, you've been doing this for 10 years. It's an amazing thing. Uh, how do people I, – I have other questions because I want I have, I have a couple – I probably have asked you these questions when it's just you and me talking, by the way, but I have yeah. some specific questions. Uh, but I want to talk about King's Home to start off with. How do people get involved first? I put on the link on the bottom. You can go to kingshome.com slash Randy Howell. But how, how can they get involved for the boat giveaway? Yeah, that's it. That It's real simple. So it's it's open to anybody all over the country and other countries. You know, we've actually, we're doing a tally the other day. We've taken donations and sold tickets in 49 states and seven other countries over the past 10 years. So it's open to anyone, anybody. If you win it, wherever you're at and you win it, you know, you're just responsible to come take delivery of it, come get it from here at Lake Gunnersville. I'll take the, the winner out on the boat, show them how it all operates. Unless they want to sell it, I can sell it to somebody without them ever having to come to get it if they want to sell it, so it's up to them. So uh, that's the easy way. The, the online secure uh, site uh, is very, very up-to-date and you know high-tech and everything about it. There's no paper tickets. We don't sell, like the old days, we'd sell tickets like out at the tackle stores and different places like that. Now it's all streamlined and it's all solid and audited through uh, a third party company. So everything goes online. You know, when you do your ticket, it, it puts your name, your number, all that in there. And then when the audit goes on the day of the event, uh, the printout prints out all the names, numbers on the exact same pieces of paper. You know, when the machine cuts them and it's all done where nobody can fold a ticket left or right yeah. or, you know, the old, the old days, the guys yeah. say, fold my ticket a little bit on the corner so you pull it. So it ain't like that. So it's all perfectly done and audited three times by a firm uh, out of Louisiana. So it's really a cool deal. And, uh, and it, anybody can win from anywhere. And that's why I always say, please put the phone number on your system there when you put your ticket info in because I'm going to call from my cell phone on the stage and that's always a big big cool deal because we've got usually about a thousand people in the audience behind, out there watching a lot of the kids from the uh, homes are out there all the high school fishing teams are out there and uh, it's it's just a lot of a lot of fun to have somebody answer the phone and let me tell them that they won my boat because uh, every year I mean the last several years it's, it goes on a voicemail and I leave it on a voicemail, and we stand there, and we keep talking, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> they call me back really quick, <laughs> and then have to talk, but it'd be cool if somebody had answered the phone, so I hope somebody's <laughs> being ready for that on November 14, 2 o'clock Central Time. Uh, we're going to draw it right off the stage there, um, and there's no... And if you're a person that don't really want to do it online, you just want to pick up the phone and call and talk to somebody... We got several ladies that work there at the King's Home offices. You can call during regular business hours, eight to five during the week, and you can get your ticket over the phone real easy as well. So, um, all the info is right there on that link, right on the King's Home website, and that's how you do it. And then if you're in the area, by if you're listening to this and you're somewhere in Central Alabama, <clears throat> and you want to actually come to the physical location on site, it's uh, all the information is right there. As well on that website, how to come out and be a part of the free event. It's called Campfire for the King, and it's just a really cool uh, pre, kind of like a pre-holiday event. We've had it closer to Christmas, Thanksgiving. We backed it up a little bit to give us a little better weather, but uh, it's all kinds of outdoor activities for kids. And then we have the big fishing event on the lake. All the high school fishing teams help all the kids fish and catch fish uh, on the lake for the first time. Sometimes for a lot of a.m. till 2 p.m. on Saturday the 14th. Nice. You had uh, one of your little boys. Uh, one of your, I think it was uh, Oakley just popped out behind you just a second ago. By the way, oh, really? <laughs> I think he was oh, getting yeah. the dog or something. Flash back there. <laughs> keeps looking like some my my video my video keeps freezing up on me when I'm looking at it. So I'm hoping you're seeing it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it, it's it's going. It's it gets spotty. It's 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 the internet. That's what it is. Okay, let me ask you a few things. Yeah. A few. I and I probably and if I've asked you these before, I apologize. I probably have texted you this, but I know winning the classic was huge. 
winning the classic was huge, but your story about winning it and having this, uh, having like your faith in God and saying, don't go right, go left is one of the best stories I've ever heard. Have you ever like sat back and just went and really, really thought about that last, that last day of the classic? hundreds of times I've sat back and thought about it uh, and actually all the times that I go and speak uh, at church events I speak at 15 or 20 events a year and now six years later that story still lives on with the same impact as it did six years ago it's amazing everywhere I go and I share that story you know people have already seen it and heard about it and it's still it's a very emotional experience a very emotional story and it's just amazing how how it cool it happened that day and the miracle that took place, you know, and I'm so thankful for it for sure. Yeah. It's one of those stories that just, uh, I remember being there and thinking, Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. And talking to you and, and sharing it. How, how does, how does your faith help you in your, when you're out there fishing? I mean, yeah, my, everything I do in my life, you know, is all connected to to my faith in God and my and just the whole everything that I've ever done everything we've ever been through starting 28 years ago when me and Robin got married I had ulcerative colitis and my colon ruptured and I had almost died had emergency surgery went through a about a five six month period there of three major surgeries at Duke in North Carolina and, uh, a lot of adversity at 19 years old as we first got married first trying to get into the sport mm -hmm. so that kind of helped us grow close together and grew our faith in God and each other and it also you kind of gave us a start in the sport so that's why I've always been so uh, vocal about my faith because I know my life has been saved and been changed because of my faith and and so when when these things happen in, in fishing everything I've ever won and in, in fishing every tournament honestly every Bassmaster I ever won everything I've ever won including the classic there was always a dramatic story that happened with every one of them and that classic story was you know the most dramatic but i've got other ones that are right there close to it on other wins and everything that has ever happened so the lord's done that i think for a reason to give me a story all the time that he gets to glory for the activities that i do because that's my platform that's how i'm able to share the message with the rest of the world you know and uh, yeah. so you know it's really cool and, and that classic one like i said that story lives on for eternity even if it wasn't me if it had been any other guy and had it happened to them i would say the same thing that's the best classic story in the history and uh and i'm just thankful i got to be the guy that the lord chose to use use it to, with that day i am too to be honest i mean that was i think i think we knew each other beforehand a little bit but i remember yeah. at the classic hearing the story and then searching you out just to say thank you you know yeah. you know it, it was yeah. just one of those and, and it's been one of those things you know thomas my little boy it was when we've watched that classic he and i together just so he, you know thomas goes to a christian school just so he can see how the lord helped you and helps everybody out else and it's just a uh an absolutely yeah. ridiculous, great story. Okay, you've been with MLF for two years now. Yeah. How are you still? Mm -hmm. Are you still over the world about it, or what's what's? Yeah. Do you still love it? Yeah, I love it. I, and I've actually been been with MLF for uh, probably seven years because uh, I fished the the, the other cups. events, the regular original events, and then I fished in the select events when the second group of twenty four anglers was was uh, chosen to be in those selects, and I qualified out of those to the regular events before it became a BPT Bass Pro Tour. So definitely love, I love the format. Uh, in fact, you know, now that Major League Fishing bought FLW and it's all one big umbrella now, everything's gonna be under that Major League Fishing brand from here on out, which is gonna be great. But even, you know, so back in this year during COVID, we, we missed three of our tournaments because yeah. of, you know, missing time slots for television film and that's basically what happened on that and so they made three super tournaments for flw and i fished those three super tournaments and uh and really enjoyed that but at the same time that was a five fish limit event and i mm -hmm. went back to a five fish limit after fishing two straight years of no limits you know and every fish counts and i'm telling you I, it's so much it's so much different and so much harder 
fishing the format with no limit, the intensity, the pressure, all that. When I went back and did the five fish deal, it's so much more of a relaxed day. You don't feel like, you know, I catch a limit and I had a good day. And then I was like, I still fished hard all day and wanted yeah. to catch more, but it didn't matter as much as it does in that no limit format. So I'm definitely geared my mind and my, uh, intensity is geared for that no limit format and every fish counts and that's what drives me that makes it it's so exciting and when more people get to experience it and get to uh, play in that format which is coming you know little by little it's coming and uh, I think the more people are able to do it the more people are going to fall in love with it and really see not only the fun and intensity of it and the, and the on demand act, you know you know act reaction that everybody gets when you know what everybody's catching but also the conservation side of it, not having to bring fish in, mm -hmm. you know, it's never going to change. There's always going to be the big five tour on the on major league fishing now. So people that want to do that are going to always do that. But as it evolves into more and more of uh, catch, weigh, and release, I think everybody's going to love it. Are you going to fish? You're going to fish the BPT, but are you going to fish the the pro circuit? Any of those events this year no, or next year? I'm not. Yeah, well, they've, they've got them lined up where you can do it all, but I, it's just too many for me to do them all. I couldn't go that far out and line up every one. I, 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 I got real close to trying it. I had about four of those lined up where I knew I could do it, but it was three other ones that were going to be so tight and conflicting. I was going to be running ragged trying to compete, and usually when you do that, I've done that all my life, you end up suffering somewhere. One tour or the other or one side or the other, you're going to do bad. It's hard to do it all unless you're in your 20s and you don't have any kids or not married yeah. and you're just out running the road. And now if I was doing that, I would definitely be doing it. But right now at our our point in my career and our life and everything like that, I didn't want to quite push it that hard. So I'll be doing the Bass Pro Tour and the Major League Cup events mm -hmm. and hopefully Red Crest and all that. And uh, and that'll be good for now. Yeah, I, I hopefully they have a Red Crest Expo. I mean, at this point oh, in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully it can we can we can have it because uh it it'll, it'll be fun to go up there and see you and i've already talked to joe about everything ha, you have you looked at next year's schedule is there anything that stands out in next year's schedule tournament wise that you just go that is one i'm gonna do really well at <laughs> man i i've looked at all of them and they all they all really excite me because every one of them is a place uh, for the most part that I've been before and I've had some success at, we're fishing uh, most of the places, though, at, at different times of the year. So we're going to hit, you know, for for instance, at Rayburn, we're going to fish Rayburn, I think, starting out of the mm -hmm. year in March, kind of during the spawn, even possibly even a little post-spawn. And then when we come to Florida, you know, the Harris chain, we're going to be there in like practically the summertime, June, I think. And, yeah. Uh, I believe that was the month June. So I think at the end of May, it is. Yeah, haven't been at the at that time of the year, and I think that's going to give a lot more uh, versatility, more more techniques, and more skills that more people have. And uh, all of those just look great to me. I'm excited about every one of them, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, to be honest, looking at the schedule for this year, uh, I don't know who's in charge of making the schedule for uh, Major League Fishing. This is the best schedule y'all have ever had um yeah, I, agree. I thought the first year i thought i no offense i thought they kind of had to throw everything together because yeah. it was just kind of last minute and then it was. and then last year with with co or this year with covid it was kind of a little weird and then coming down here for i didn't even what i didn't even see you at toho this year do you know that yeah, it was odd. I was wondering where you were at, but it was because that was the first one back, and then yeah. all the scare going on. Nobody was out in public a whole lot yet doing anything, and so that's probably I figured that's why you weren't down there. I I was down there. Uh, uh I had a it, there was so much rain that week. If you remember the week before, like your practice days were, it was flooding around here, and then and then out of nowhere, it was just well anyway. I don't know how I don't I I I apologize that I didn't find you or text you or something, but I'm I'm looking forward to having you down here in, at Harris because I uh, I I can't wait to see you and 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 you know hopefully you'll do well but and, but more importantly I want you to do well at the boat giveaway and I want everyone to go to kingshome.com slash Randy Howell also go check them out on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube by the way 
uh, and check out all that and, and subscribe Instagram. and Instagram subscribe yeah, and be Instagram. part of the group and, and get over there and somebody win this, the boat, because, uh, the boat giveaway is just ridiculous. And the amount of money you've raised for King's home is fantastic, man. And, and yeah, I, we're, we're actually at $1.5 million. Is that what it is for, for nine years? Yeah. The eight year amount was 1.2 last year. We've hit 1.5. So, um, we, we did sell 2000 tickets last year which is $200,000. And uh, my goal, I really want to hit 2,500 tickets this year because this year has been a worst year ever for, for not only King's Home, but probably all need-based charities because of COVID. When COVID hit and everything crazy happened in the world, people stopped giving to those outside places because they don't really, you know, it just makes people scared of, of giving and doing. But then those companies and those groups and charities, ministries suffer. So, uh, it's really been exciting to see in just the last couple of days, our numbers are about, we're up about 300 tickets. We hit like a thousand tickets yesterday Nice. Um, for, versus last year where we were at like 600 and we still hit 2000. So I'm hoping we'll have that big push uh, this whole last week going in. People usually wait to the last minute, but if they go ahead and do it now, get it done and uh, tax deductible charity donation, you can't beat it. And, uh, Farron Lewis was the guy that won last year from Lynchburg, Tennessee, and he actually kept the boat, still has the wrap on it, still uses it up at Del Hollow Lake. I get messages on Instagram all the time saying, hey, I saw you on Del Hollow Lake today. How'd you do? I'm like, that wasn't me, man. That wasn't me. That was, uh, that was the guy that won my boat. So uh, it's a great deal. And this year is the best boat I've ever, this is the best Triton I've ever had because I got the Lawrence Ghost Troller motor up here. Mm -hmm. It's brand new. I got the big HDS 16 on the dash. It looks like a TV screen over there. And the blue water LED lights front to back and the, the new power pole charge system. Mm -hmm. That's like a $1,300 charge system that, that does everything on the boat, powers everything, keeps your battery solid. So you can't beat the package here. It's probably an $85,000 package at the dealership. You go price it out. Yeah. It, it, it's obviously, it's a great boat. It's a fish catching machine. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. There's been a couple questions. Some, uh, Craig Webb said, Hey, Hey, hey Randy, uh, has Randy gone deer hunting yet? And did he bag a four legged jerky Walker? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> no, I haven't even been hunting yet. My boys are my, you know, Oakley's fit just turned 15 the yep. other day and he's playing basketball hardcore at high school right now. So he's too tired. Oh, I love this. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Laker, Laker's doing community college and fishing. He's getting ready to go to the the BFL, uh, the BFL re wild card regional at Lake of the Ozarks, and then he qualified for the Toyota Series Championship nice. uh, at Kentucky. So both of the boys are running around. Nobody's asked to go hunting yet, and I've been working on King's Home stuff. So maybe once King's Home stuff's over with, I film a couple of shows with Bass Pro here on Gunnersville, and we might have a little hunting time coming up, hopefully in early December. That's awesome. Okay, I wrote this down, and I and I didn't meant to tag it. So you have you Laker Oakley on the front of the boat. You're all you the the boys go fishing. Who's the best? Yeah. Who who's who wins one vs one v one v one? Who wins? I, you know. Now I'm going to ask Oakley and Laker when I see him next time. So make sure we tell the truth on this. Who catches the most fish? Well, I'll tell you what, that's a hard one because they're both very good anglers. They fish since they were able to walk. They've been in the bass boat playing in the floor since they were two years old. So uh, it'd be hard to say. It depends on the bite. You know, if it's a frog bite, I would say Laker 100%. He's going to beat me and Oakley because he's a frog king because he's had so much practice here on Gunnersville. Uh, if it's a finesse bite, Hands down, Oakley's got the he's got the Midwest finesse rig with the little three inch Cinco, uh, the little uh, Ned rig deal mm -hmm. on, on the dial spinning setup with light line. He can smoke them on that. He's got actually actually taught me how to fish the Ned rig better, so he'd do it with that. And then if it's all the other baits in between, I might beat them. You never know. But, <laughs> but hey, to get, to give a shout out, Laker. We started a, a buddy here at Gunnersville started a Sunday afternoon tournament, 1230 last Sunday, 1230 to 4 hours for any pros and guides could fish it because the other local tournaments don't allow pros or guides to fish here because there's so many of them. So we had Duckett and his son, we had Chris Lane, his son, Cal, me and Robin fished, Laker and his buddy fished. 
Uh, there was five or six other guides and locals in it, and Laker beat everybody. Shut up. Uh, he got he got bragging rights. He had it's a tough bite here. He had five that weighed nine pounds seven ounces, and me and Robin had three that weighed eight eight. He got he oh. beat us. We were second. And uh, but he, he got bragging rights for this week, so I'm excited about this next Sunday to get to get back out there and try again. I got to beat him this week. <laughs> That's awesome. It's it's really funny. You talk about Cinco. I have a pond uh, down, you know, 20 minutes from me. Uh, I bring Thomas out there, put a Cinco on. He outfishes me, probably six or seven fish to one. I can't <laughs> explain it. But yeah. I brought a friend with me one day. Uh, he, I'll introduce you when you, we, next time I see you. He's the the executive chef chef up at the boathouse here in Orlando, and and Ooh. he's like, "Why why are you and I not catching him as many fish as Thomas?" I'm like, "I have no clue. I know he's fishing in front of us, but we got to give him the thing." Bob watched Thomas for ten minutes and goes, oh, "I have figured out what Thomas is doing differently," and then we started catching fish. But uh-huh. it, it, it's wonderful to see Laker and Oakley doing well. I love to see you and Robin on the in the the love seat on the videos on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. And I'm so happy that uh, that you're a man of God and believe in God and you're we're brothers in faith and and I I really do want everyone go to kingshome.com slash Randy Howell check it out. It, it the boat giveaways fantastic what other what who else are you doing video if you want to see more with randy who else are you doing uh videos with today uh let's see i think i'm i'm doing a i'm doing a both the other ones i think are radio shows okay i'm doing, uh, I'm doing set the hook with pat rose tonight at 6 30 central time on a radio affiliate he's out of chattanooga tennessee and uh i'm doing another one at i think i'm doing one at 3 30 Today yeah, with yeah, with uh, Roger Metz out of South Carolina. You might know Roger. From I do South know. Carolina. Yeah, doing that one today too. So I don't know if they're live. I think both of those are recorded for later. Yeah, but uh, but I'll be doing as much as I can do the next uh, nine or ten days to get the word out. Hopefully, sell a lot of tickets and make a big difference in the lives of a lot of kids and ladies at King's Home. And we appreciate everybody's support. It always has supported us, and anybody that's going to support us this year for the first time, we appreciate it. Yeah, dude, I really do appreciate the time. I'm gonna hit end here, and then uh, we'll I'll talk to you just briefly off air here. But everyone. Go to kingshome.com slash Randy Howell. The boat giveaway is fantastic. They do it. He does it every year, and he's one of the good guys. I mean, I've known this man for, I can't even tell you how many years I've known this man. Uh, And he's one of the good dudes in the industry and just the best. So thank you. And we need to give a shout out to the TTI Blakemore Daiichi guys, of course. That's That's our boys. That's our I mean, boys right there. They've had a tough. They've had a tough year. we the loss of some clearly close people this year to all of us, and definitely it's been a sad year on that. But we're not uh, going to quit. Our resolve is strong. The company's strong, and the, all the people that are there now are more dedicated to the passion of making the best hooks and the best products uh, for everybody. And we're working on a new hook project for Daiichi that we were working hard on with all the team before a lot of stuff changed this year. And, Lost a couple of our close friends. Mm-hmm. Those books are still coming, and they're going to be the best ever. It's going to be called the Daiichi Pro X series, and uh, you'll be hearing more about that coming up later this year. I think I've already heard a little bit about it from Ron, but I'm not going to yeah, tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Everyone, go go to kingshome.com/slash/randy howell and check it out. Thanks, thanks, dude. Hold on a second. Thank you.